This tutorial is going to teach you how to get started creating a Glog. A Glog is an interactive multimedia poster that is created through a drag and drop system. Start off by going to edu.glogster.com. Once you get there, click on Sign Up, go to the Basic Teacher, which is the free version, click Get It. You're going to fill in the necessary information to create your account, click Agree to Terms, and then Sign Up. Once you have your account created, you can click in Login. Type your user ID and password, and it will send you to your dashboard or your wall. So this is my wall, and I have, or dashboard, and I have set up an account with my students. So you can manage your students. You can view student blogs, you can see your own blogs, and you can create new blogs. By managing students, you can click on a student. You can see which type of blogs they have, and you can send messages to students. Messages to students are private. So heading back to my dashboard, I'm going to click Create a Blog. And then you can see some of the different options that we have available. So there are many different things that you can do to create your blog poster. You can change graphics, text, image, video, sound, data, draw, or wall. So even though wall is listed last, let's start with it. So on my wall, we can use things from the gallery, my own pictures, or solid colors. Categories available in, in gallery are the following. Let's try pop rock and go with something bold. When you clicked on an item, you can see it in the preview window. And if you like it, you can click use it. And by closing this, you can see that we've now changed the background of our wall. So this is our blog wall. And then on the margins here, we have our page wall. So you can change those later too if you wish. Under graphics, we can click um, graphics that are either animated or not animated. And sometimes there's more than one version and sometimes there's only one. If it doesn't say animated, then it's just a still version. So by clicking on animated, we can see what our image will, our graphic image will do once we insert it. When you figure it out which one you'd like, click Use It, and it'll insert it into your blog. When it's on your blog, then you can click on it. You can move it around. You can make it larger, make it smaller. You can rotate it, and you can edit it. By clicking on Edit, you can change the color. You can add a link, or you can change the effects of it. I think we're going to leave this graphic as it is. After graphics, we can choose a text. We have two text boxes here, or we can add our own. So we can click on the many different samples here. There are several pages. We can stick with our pop rock, or we can go to retro. We can go back to basics. We can just choose what we'd like. So we have different types of text. We can have a speech bubble that we can add to a picture. We have a title, or we can have an actual text. So under bubble, we can click on the box, click edit. We can change the words by changing the text fonts by changing text sizes, by changing text colors, or by adding even setting characters. Once you decided that that's what you want, click Add, and you're set. 
So once you have it on here, you click OK. And again, you can move it, you can rotate it, and you can adjust it later. If you decide that you don't like it, you can always click on the pink trash can and delete it. Next we have image. Image, you can click on your own pictures or you can upload one from your computer. You can get used link, which will grab one from an internet site, or you can click grab, which will grab a video um, or grab an image from your camera that you have hooked to your computer. So we can click on upload. We find our image within our computer. Click on open. Sometimes it takes a second before it loads it. And then once it's loaded, then you can click on it and ask it to add it. Another option that you can do, oh, sorry, mouse is sticking. So here's my image as me and my dad from this past Christmas. You can click add a frame, and the different categories are on the side. And since this is a Christmas picture, let's click on Christmas frames. You can use it or you can delete it. I'm going to click use it. And I've added two. Oops, now what do I do? So since I've added two of them, I can keep them both or I can decide to delete one. So here's my picture of me and my dad. After we do images, we can click on video. And again, you can upload something from SchoolTube. Um, you can upload something from your own computer. You can use link to find a site on the internet or you can use grab to um, insert a video from your own camera. So I'm going to upload one from my computer. Well, maybe not. Let's just click on this since I already uploaded it. This one I got from a link from a website, and it is of um, Claude Monet's house and gardens at Giverny in France. We can also add a player, which is a frame to put around the outside of it. We don't want to keep using Christmas stuff. We can do flower ones, or we can make them completely different, add pets. and then click use it. And when we're done, we can mix and match. We have a very large poster in which to fill up everything. So we can just cross off that star mostly by adding that one there. And if you end up changing your mind, you can always go back to edit. The next thing we have is sound. And this is one of my favorite songs, Lady Armstrong's. We can have a plain old button like this, or we can add a fancier button. Click Use It, and then it's added it on here. If you have an element on here and you decide you don't want it anymore, like it says, you can delete me by clicking on the pink trash can. We can move our song up over here. We can click on this and size it. We can change our fonts. We can change our colors. We can change in the fill colors. You can change sizes on here. And if you have a lot of text and you can't see it all in the box because of the size of it, 
or because you have a whole paragraph inserted in here, then it'll give you a scroll bar in which you can scroll down to see all the text. The last two images or two items that are available for Glogster are data and draw, and those are options that are available on the um, pay for premium versions. And data is where you are allowed to um, upload files from Microsoft Office, such as Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. You can also upload PDF files or wrapped files. And these are attachments, so you can put a, um, an assignment or a rubric for kids or just anything else that you'd like. The draw option allows you to just randomly free draw all over pictures that are added, text boxes that are added, or anything else. So once we figured out that we have everything that we want on here, we can click on Save or Publish. It gives us the name of a blog. I'm going to change the name of the blog to Blog Sample Tutorial. Then we can choose whether we want to make it public so that everybody can see it. Say whether it's finished or unfinished. We can add tags. We can click a category so that we know what we're talking about. So when we get with several uh, different blogs on our dashboard, then we can find it easy enough. And then we're going to click Save. And sometimes we run into problems, so that's okay. We can go through and try saving it again like it asks us to in another minute. So um, by creating a blog through Glogster EDU, you have more privacy settings. And so the people who are within your class are the ones who are able to see it. And um, it prevents a lot of um, information from having to be added, such as inserting your contact information, emails, first and last names, and whatnot. Uh, blogs, once they are created and saved and published, can be used with RSS feeds, with Twitter, with Facebook, with wikis, with um, bookmarks like Delicious, or can be sent through email. So this is my tutorial on Glogster. I hope it was informative and you start blogging soon. Thank you.